News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Storm Prediction Center out of Oklahoma has upgraded our severe risk for today, and it's actually lower than anticipated early this morning. So, a low chance of strong, severe thunderstorms, higher chances for Pittsburgh, Washington, D.C., and down into the mid Ohio Valley. Still, though, we could see some strong to severe thunderstorms later this afternoon. The timing of that is roughly from 5 o'clock until midnight as the line of showers and thunderstorms will be crossing the Susquehanna Valley. The main concern are some strong storms with some winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. Also, the threat of some flash flooding, and if these storms become tall enough, they could produce some concentrated lightning and also some small hail. Out right now on Super Doppler 8 live radar, you can see very little action, just a few passing light showers right now through York County and into Adams County. The rain that we had earlier this morning is working its way toward the Jersey Shore. There is a warm front snaking right now across Pennsylvania. Eventually, it's going to lift up into upstate New York as we head through the evening hours, and that's going to allow the showers and thunderstorms to begin to intensify. So clouds will continue to thicken up, and then as we approach the evening rush hour, the chances for these scattered showers and thunderstorms will be higher, and they'll linger on in after dark until roughly midnight. Temperatures into the overnight hours fall to near 70 degrees. We'll have a chance for a few showers early in the morning, but then our weather starts to calm back down and actually we lower our humidity as we head into the afternoon hours on Wednesday with temperatures back up near seasonal averages in the low to mid 80s. Concerning the threat of severe weather, again, damaging winds possible, also the threat of some large hail. Biggest concern though is going to be some flash flooding because of the showers we had early this morning and the intense rainfall we've had over the past couple of weeks does not look likely for tornadic activity through the day today. Here's a look at the rain we've had today so far. More than half an inch at Lancaster City. City Island picking up roughly an inch and a quarter. The notice one and three quarters inch in Manada Gap in Dauphin County and about an inch in New Cumberland County. Taking a live look right now over Lancaster City, you can see some breaks in the clouds. We're sitting at 80 degrees. There's the dew point right now sitting at 70. It is muggy out there. 79 currently in York, 75 in Gettysburg. And the dew points again sitting near 70 degrees across much of the Susquehanna Valley. So ripe, humid air is sitting overhead for these showers and thunderstorms. So there's the warm front starting to lift mainly north of the turnpike. It will continue its northern push as we head through the evening hours. And this storm system, the center of it right now, is moving through eastern portions of Michigan. So we'll zoom back in. We'll time the rain chances here for you as we head through the evening hours. Watch the warm front continue to lift. And then by 3 o'clock, may see a few isolated showers. But then here comes that line of showers and thunderstorms as we head through the evening hours. Right around, I'd say, 10 o'clock will be the best chance for those scattered showers and thunderstorms. Then the skies begin to clear out as we head through the overnight hours and as we head into Wednesday that drier air starts to move on in making it feel pleasant for the back half of the work week. So we're watching out for those strong thunderstorms later this evening. Drier weather, more pleasant weather, less humid weather for late Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Boy, all of a sudden I looked out this morning it was pouring. That's yeah. right. The good news again, I think this is going to be scattered in nature. Not everybody's going to get the rain, but if the rain comes near your area, near your house, could pack quite a punch. All right, thank you, Ethan.